From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a major morning here on Mornings LA. And the expansion of more 2023 stimulus checks eat up to more this morning's broadcast. More February checks will go over those 2023 stimulus checks in this recording. It's the expansion of 2023 stimulus checks. And if you've got some already, I'm going to show you how to get more in today's recording. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, SSA veterans. I'm a member of we'll over all these incredible stimulus checks one at a time that are in that incredible membership newsletter for individuals who are low income across the board. 18 months, five checks per month. $8,000 across the board. We're going to go over the stimulus checks A to C law. Then we'll take a break. We'll look at that membership newsletter that got expanded overnight. Then we'll look at stimulus checks E through K. Then we'll go to stimulus checks L to Q. All law, all in that membership newsletter. Welcome to brand new, 100 brand new members who've joined in the last few days. Then the big second half, we have the latest details of what's going on in this economy. Expedia down 2% on a miss on revenue and a miss on earnings. Lyft down 30% right today on a miss on revenue across the board. And the major story that surprised a lot of people yesterday were those comments from Coinbase's head. Rumors to get rid of crypto stocking lessons for retail consumers. What does that mean? Let's look at those coins. Bid is under pressure right now. Ethereum is well and at Decentraland across the board. We'll go over the latest details of what that means, or is it all coins, or is this just something about crypto coins? We'll be jumping some live charts in the big second half of Crypto Wall Street Live on a brand new morning's LA. You're looking at the ticker of the stocks as well. The Dow is a little bit up, about 87, and the NASDAQ is down to 18 points right now, 9.46 a.m. We'll look at those resistance levels that everything you need to know. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a brand new brand new broadcast. We have so much excitement, brand new stimulus, the latest details of the economy. We also have some consumer economic reports we released minutes ago. And of course, the comments from that head of Coinbase that impacts cryptocurrency and also the stock market. Everything you need to know, big day, big broadcast. Become a member and get ready for all the deliciousness. Toast is toast and the butter is buttering on a brand new morning daylight starting right now. And good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's a brand new day from the shores of Santa Monica, California. In today's broadcast, we're going to start with those 2023 stimulus checks. We'll look at the stimulus checks A to C, then take a break. Look at that membership newsletter. Have you become a member? Do it right now. Then we'll go to E to K, that expanded by the Biden administration. Then L to Q. Then we'll go over those checks that are heating up tonight's primetime broadcast. And first, we're going to go over the broadest element, element, 18 months, five checks a month, $3,000 across the board. These are 2023 stimulus checks. Let's go over that eligibility right now. These stimulus checks are for you, SSI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, their law. And I'm going to show you how to get them after we do the first three checks, A, B, and C from Joseph Biden. Let's jump at those first three checks, A, B, and C, starting right now. They're huge and they are wonderful. The first three checks were passed by the President of the United States in spring of last year. And they're stimulus checks A, B, and C. Of them, stimulus check B is the one that pays the most months of monthly MSCs. 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board. As we go through all these checks, we're gonna do A to C from the Pride and Administration, E to K from the Congress, L to Q. After we get to stimulus check C, we're going to take a break and look at that incredible membership newsletter. Have you become a member? Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, we'll go over everything you need to know. And the big second half, will go over the latest details of the markets. There's that membership newsletter right now. Let's start with the first three checks, A, B, and C. The President of the United States passed a series of executive actions in spring of last year, which established the first three stimulus checks, A, B, and C. A is great. And all these checks are $300,000, fast, almost 18 months across the board. But B pays lots of checks. The eligibility is all for you. 
These are stimulus checks for you, SSI, stimulus checks for you, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. But it's stimulus check B that pays the most months, an MSC, monthly stimulus check or multiple stimulus checks. And stimulus check B is the result of you. Congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself, Purple Power. You advocate for monthly multiple stimulus checks and you got it. MSC's law in stimulus check B. It's paying on average 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board. And that is stimulus check B. Then next up is stimulus check C. I'm going to go over how do you get these in just a second. Let's jump in the first three checks, A, B, and C, right now. Stimulus check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. Wow, just absolutely incredible. You deserve it. How do you get it? Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Go into the membership news area and go get that beautiful stimulus check A. You deserve it. Stimulus check B is a $15,000 to $80,000 stimulus check. It is for renters and everything after B is also for renters as well. Stimulus check B is also for homeowners. And stimulus check B is the one that pays the most monthly stimulus checks. Yes, 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board. Become a member and get that beautiful stimulus check B. Next up is stimulus check C for the Biden administration, which is rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. It's been on the channel for a while. Look how long it's been here, since 2021. But the Biden administration expanded it across the board. In fact, I was getting some of it for some people in 2020 as well. In that membership news, I have stimulus check C. I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places across the board. And again, this is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And how much money can you get? Well, the viewers of this channel are averaging about $30,000 for rent. They're doing about $15,000 for utilities. And they're doing, on average, 18 months of beautiful checks. Let's look at some of these great numbers across the board starting right now. It's just what you want to inspire for. First, the rent. Viewers, on average, are getting about $30,000 of rent from this channel. 18 months of rent or 18 months of mortgage assistance. Rent, again, is stimulus check C in the membership newsletter and stimulus check B. It's just wonderful. In the membership newsletter, stimulus check C, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it at 12 different places for stimulus check C. So make sure you reach out to all 12 places. Next up is utilities. And those numbers are now yielding about 18 months of all your utility bills per month. If you have water, heating oil, electric, gas, five bills per month, get them. And that's what viewers are doing 18 months across the board. Combinations of checks. You can do this because everyone else has been doing it as a Purple Hawk on this channel. Nisi went from 23000 She went to 50000 Mark went from 32000 Then he went to 50000 Then I told him to get more. He went to 100000 And then he went to 166000 Of these 2023 stimulus checks, Lorraine was at 105, and she went to a massive one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And so far, we're at stimulus check C. It's just really wonderful. So, as promised, I said after stimulus check C, we're going to look at that incredible membership newsletter. How do you do this? Step one: go under the video, subscribe, subscribe to LA one, subscribe to LA two, and subscribe to LA three. Number two: go under the video and join the channel. Join any of the three channels or join all the channels. That incredible membership newsletter is for you as a member. Once you join the channel, then look at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of this video. You'll see this website. You see that website on the screen right there? News.la.com forward slash newsletter. How simple is that? It says it, newsletter. News.la.com forward slash newsletter. It's at the top of the chat the pinned comment, and the description of this video, and every video on all three channels all day long, 365 days a year. That is where the membership newsletter is. Final step, after you become a member, go into your most recent post for members on the YouTube community page and grab that password. That password is sent to you as a member via the YouTube community page 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you see a new post about a video, see a new post about something happening, it'll say new user password, member password. 
absolutely incredible. Go right in there and go into that password protected newsletter and start getting those stimulus checks A, B, and C. B, of course, is the one that pays the most months. Next up is now we're going to continue to stimulus checks E through K. Again, all these stimulus checks are law. These are all for 2023. These are all same eligibility. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. These stimulus checks for you, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, 75,000 less, married couple, 150,000 less for U.S. states and U.S. territories. Let's continue to stimulus check E to K. These are past spring of last year. They're still law. The way the laws work is that so long as they're still funded, they're still active. And stimulus check E was expanded by the Biden administration last Friday. It's a $7,500 stimulus check and expanded so more people get it and broader eligibility across the board. Stimulus check F is $4,000. Stimulus check G is a beautiful 30% off. Stimulus check H is a $2,000 stimulus check. And then stimulus check I is a great $8,000 stimulus check and J is an $8,000 stimulus check. K is a $14,000 stimulus check. These E through K are from the Congress passed in spring of last year. Same eligibility. These are for you. Go get them. They were passed for you. Go get them across the board. Pounce is a purple hawk. Next up are stimulus checks L to Q. These are other stimulus checks that I found in last year. Still law. Same eligibility. Go get them. Stimulus check L to Q. All in that incredible membership newsletter. Have you become a member right now? And they're just incredible. Let's look at stimulus checks L to Q right now. L is $100,000 on average of loan industry money. M is a $4,000 stimulus check. N is the brand new computer, tablet, and laptop. Yes, it's a very, very popular stimulus item. I love it. It's stimulus N like Nancy. In the membership newsletter at N for a brand new computer, tablet, and a free laptop. Why would you not become a member? Look at all these incredible things you get as a member. It's a stimulus check N in that beautiful membership newsletter. Stimulus check O, zero down payment, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage, and stimulus check P, 3% refi, and Q in $18,000 stimulus check. So those are your 2023 stimulus checks for you. SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, across the board. In tonight's primetime shows, we will be going over the other stimulus checks on top of that. And those other stimulus checks are nearly a half a million dollars of stimulus checks for certain people, and also children's checks, and also unemployment stimulus. It all heats up tonight's broadcast in primetime Three live shows tonight and three live shows currently airing across the board. So the longest of the of the paying checks, the stimulus check B, 18 months. The most deliciousness, the computer and tablet, stimulus check N. The check most recently updated by the Biden administration, stimulus check E on Friday, last Friday. And the largest stimulus check, a half a million dollars, the stimulus check R in tonight's primetime shows across the board from the shores of Santa Monica, California. What are you watching? <laughs> you are watching me. You are watching LLA. America's now number two most watched financial news channel. Congratulations, you did it. LA is now number two in America for financial news. Three broadcasting channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. Three different live streams airing live streams airing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Channel one, channel two, and channel three. Channel one is all your financial news. Channel two is Stimulus Live, which has been on fire. And then Channel 3 is Crypto Wall Street Live, which has absolutely gone through the roof. New shows, new live streams all throughout the day. The three live streams, these are their start tides. The new live stream on Channel 1 starts every night at 5 o'clock. The new live stream on, for Stimulus Live on Channel 2 starts every night at 6 o'clock. And then... Evening starts at 4 o'clock on Channel 3 with Crypto Wall Street Live. So 4 o'clock, Crypto Wall Street Live, Channel 3. 5 o'clock, LA Live, the live stream. LA Live in prime time, America's most watched financial news show. And then 6 o'clock is Stimulus Live on Channel 2. Coming up next, if you're watching this show when it first airs, we have Home LA at 11 a.m. on Channel 1. But let's go over a preview of what's coming up in the big second half of today's show from the shores of Santa Monica, California. A lot of major surprises in the last 24 hours. Crypto is under pressure because of concerns of comments that came from the head of Coinbase and the SEC. I'll explain what those comments meant. It's not particularly clear if you don't know what they're referring to. I'll explain across the board. 
We had Uber earnings two days ago, and Uber was impressive. Lyft, not impressive. It's down 30% today on a revenue miss. That's that ride-sharing company. I'll have my analysis as well. Expedia under pressure as well, down 2% on a revenue miss. Look how bad a miss that was. It's nearly half of what they expected. And the earnings miss across the board. Plus, we'll go over more expansion stimulus in the big second half. We'll jump into some live charts. Let's look at those right now. Wow. <laughs> Decentraland's holding up. But uh, Bitcoin, uh uh oh, uh, no, 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 no. We don't want that. We'll go all the latest details across the board. There are no breakout coins today because of the pressure underway for crypto because of those comments that came in from Brian Armstrong. By the latest details across the board in the big second half of the shores of San Juan, California. It's Crypto Wall Street Live in the big second half of Mornings LA. So much excitement. I'm so excited you're here. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Mornings LA Crypto Wall Street Live edition continues in just 60 seconds. So much to go over. The latest details of corporate earnings and also some economic data that was released minutes ago. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. The excitement continues in the big second half of this Crypto Wall Street Live live edition from the shores of Santa Monica, California, shortly after 10 o'clock Pacific State Time on a beautiful day. Bitcoin remains at a 23,000 support level after crypto was falling and Ether was down 3% after Coinbase's CEO Brian Armstrong tweeted Thursday, rumors that the SEC would like to get rid of crypto stocking for the U.S. for retail consumers put coins under pressure. What does that mean? I'll translate all that for you in just a second. We had some corporate earnings that came in as well, and there were some misses left and right. Plus, we'll go over an expansion more stimulus and what you need to know across the board. From the shores of San Juan, California, it's Crypto Wall Street Live in the big second half. It all starts right now. So these comments came in from Coinbase's head uh, on Thursday, and his name, of course, is Brian Armstrong. Rumors that the SEC would like to get rid of crypto stalking for U.S. retail consumers put coins under pressure on Thursday. By Friday, they were trying to get some traction back up, but not a lot of it. First, let me explain what crypto stalking is. It's not all crypto. So <laughs> these words, I know they're a little bit uh, advanced. Crypto stalking is a very simple concept. It is the following. You own a coin, and some of the platforms will say, you own $10,000 of crypto of uh, Bitcoin, I'll give you an 8% return on your investment. Sort of like a money market concept. You own a coin, I'll give you 8% based upon the value of your position. It's an add-on to the coin. Obviously, the coin has its, its activity, its value. But they're saying because you have a deposit of a coin with us, we will give you a return on top of that. It's called crypto stocking. It's not 
all crypto. It's just crypto stock. And I know it's a strange term. It doesn't even line up uh, grammatically. But this has been under pressure for a while. The SEC is going again, going after people doing crypto stalking or platforms doing crypto stalking. And Brian Armstrong, as part of Coinbase, said rumors that the SEC would like to get rid of crypto stalking for US retail consumers is very much believed. I mean, it's it is it, while it's a rumor, um, there have been a lot of stories about this. And this is not the end of crypto. It's the end of crypto stalking again. A type of money market add-on to, to your crypto position. It's very, very different, so I don't want you to get it confused. The day will also feature Fed Governor Christopher Waller and Philadelphia Fed President uh, Patrick Harker speaking Friday afternoon, where they like to say, um, 2% inflation. <laughs> I mean, what else am I going to say? Uh, this is the same story every day. Lyft may need a lift. <laughs> Maybe Uber can get a lift to Lyft. Because Lyft is under pressure today. Um, let's jump over to some, some of that surprises as well. Um, boy, uh, that's uh, just not uh, a, a good look. Look at that lift. Down 30%. Wow, that's coming up in just one second. Expedia under pressure as well, the stock. Uh, but this is what started the, the, the turmoil on Thursday. Rumors that the SEC may get rid of crypto stock in the U.S. for retail consumers puts coins under pressure. Here are the coins right now on a Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bid is holding at a 21,000. Good, down 3%. It was under more pressure yesterday. Ethereum is down 1%. And Decentraland down 2%. Despite those comments, you would have thought there would be more pressure. Let's jump in some live charts right now so we see the impact of this real time. This is a live chart. We are looking at a live chart from Gemini, and here we are. We're currently 21,600 today on Bitcoin right at the time of this broadcast, 10 a.m. You see the price, the time in the lower right with the blue background. So we're at the low of the entire day. Are we at the low of the whole week? There we are. We're at the low of the whole week. I just clicked the week. Upper right, we're looking at when the platform is Gemini. The price is the upper left, 21,000. The upper uh, right has the one day, the one week, the one month. So we're currently with the blue underline under the one W, which is the one week. Let's look at the one month. No oh boy. So we're testing the one month resistance level on Bitcoin. What is the resistance level? The support, the floor. How do we find it? We look at the graph, the chart, and we look over to the left. When was the last time we were this low? You look all the way to the left, put a ruler in your mind and say, it's that last, I'm going to take my mouse, watch my mouse, it's all the way over here. 21,000, 000, 000 28,800, right around here. We're testing this last support last level, which was over a month ago. It's been featured on the channel for nearly a week. We tested it last Sunday, and you know what I've been saying. I've been saying the same thing every day. If we break under this support level, it's a floor, it's a support, we can have big problems because where can we go? To the bottom of that left side of that chart. See how low that was a month ago? We can go all the way back down to 17,000. So we need to hold the support level. We have broken under this support level. This was the first support level we were featuring in the last 48 hours. 22,900, 23,000. We've broken under that right now. This is live. 21,800. We are under our support level of the last uh, two weeks. Now the next concern is this support level. And this is all being teed up because of those comments about uh, crypto, crypto stocking. Let's go out further to understand how important this support level is. Yeah, you don't want to break under this floor because we could be going back to those three-month levels and going back into crypto winter. Where do I believe we are right now? Crypto spring, but we are getting a little cold. May have to turn on the heat because it's starting to get a little bit cold because of comments that came in about crypto stalking. And that's why it's so important. Our other coins under pressure as well. Here's Decentraland right now. Here's a live chart of Decentraland. One-day chart. We're coming up a little bit from the lows of the day. We're as low as 68 cents, which is not that bad. The high of the day was 72 cents, which is actually quite impressive, despite all the turmoil of the 24 hours. Here's the one-week chart. Yeah, so not that bad. Let's look at the one-month chart. Are we testing support level? We are testing a support level. Here it is. Looks over the left. 64 cents, 67 cents. 
we don't want to break under 63. We're not there yet with Decentral Line because if we do, same problem. We can go all right down to 40 cents. Do we have any breakout coins today? We don't have any breakout coins today. We had no breakout coins yesterday. What are breakout coins? These are coins we're looking to get a 15, 18% return for the day, get in and out. We had none yesterday. We have none today. We may not have any tomorrow, but if they are any, where do they go into? They go right into the membership newsletter. <laughs> the membership newsletter now features more than ever before. It features not all, all your stimulus. It features not all your expansion of your stimulus. It not only features the latest breakout coins of the day as soon as they break out. It not only features the latest stocks breaking out, but it also gives you the guidance on what the economists and also those major reports are saying of the day. So we have no breakout coins across the board. Let's jump into the big second half now of Crypto Wall Street Live, the Wall Street part of it starting right now. Two major companies reported corporate earnings, and they were not particularly good. Let's look at them right now. Expedia, the travel, uh, the travel company, of course, under pressure, 2% down. It missed on revenue, $1.26 billion. That's a billion less than estimated. Earnings per share was even worse, a billion less, less, less than expected. No particular reason why. It was a poor fourth quarter for the company across the board. Then Lyft. Is Lyft the same as Uber? Apparently not. Because Uber came in relatively impressive this week and Lyft did not. This is minutes ago. Lyft needs a Lyft. It's down 30% right today. It missed on revenue dramatically. And I got to tell you, earnings per share was not even better across the board. So that is why this market is getting really interesting. It, it's a chooser's market. So don't think an Uber is just like a Lyft or a Lyft is just like an Uber. And don't think that a Patrick Harker is the same as a Christopher Waller <laughs> because they're both speaking later today. Two Fed governors, but they're likely to say the same thing. Lots of shorts are out of fashion. <laughs> they're also going to say, we're going to 2% inflation. Yeah, not anytime soon. Bank of America downgraded Deutsche Bank minutes ago. Uh, it said that we see Deutsche Bank struggling to prove profitability. Uh, due to capital resources. Mm, interesting. Consumer outlook improved in the month of February. Really? <laughs> Though inflation was up as well. The University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Report released minutes ago said consumers are a little bit more confident this month. Well, they should be. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, they should be because, uh, you know, Harry Styles won. No, sorry, that was an inside joke. <laughs> Consumer confidence was down because uh, Harry Styles did win. No, I just, I just sorry. Uh, you know, that was very controversial over the weekend. Everyone had their opinion about it. I know I am not taking an opinion on the subject matter. Aluminum's da aluminum. Do you say aluminum or do you say aluminium? Uh, I'm, I'm from America, so I do not say aluminium. Uh, fell to, to lows not seen in over a month. Uh, it is dropping right now. And finally, oil prices rise in amid Russia output cuts. Again with that guy. I mean, does he ever stop? <laughs> does he ever stop? It's the same story with that man every day. Finally, a little commentary from me. Not that I don't deserve it. <laughs> Grocery prices. Have you seen them? I just want to celebrate. I just want to do a pair dance. I just, <laughs> I just want to do a pair dance. You know, uh, here's a little bit of insight on me, because I don't always say a lot about myself. You know, we had the pandemic. And then we had the inflation. I think the inflation was almost worse than the pandemic. What I was doing during that horrible uh, inflationary, uh, uh, grocery inflation period, eggflation, was I could not get myself to buy a package of ground turkey at 300% higher than it was four months earlier and half the size. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Uh, you know, you work really hard to make money. And then you're looking at it like, what are you doing to me? The package was usually, the package is this big. It's been this big for, you know, 15 years. And then suddenly it went from $7 to $25. And then it shrunk. I'm like, I have to have some ground turkey. <laughs> I have to have some ground I can't, I can't I, I, but I'm not going to pay $25 for something this is big. So for over... A year and a half, and that was why you saw so much of me in, in the South Bay. You saw me in Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach. I would drive out of um, out of uh, Santa Monica. I'd go into other areas to get groceries at non-unionized markets and things like that where the prices were more sensible. 
And so about two weeks, I think it was, maybe it was last week. Last week I went into, I think I could say it, Kroger. And in, in, in West Los Angeles, Santa Monica. And I literally wanted to cry and celebrate and just, you know, dance in the hallways. <laughs> it was the prices of groceries from not last year, 2022, not 2021, 2019. I have never seen prices this cheap in the four years. I just, I, I'm still breathing like a sigh of relief. Oh, it's it's just it feels reassuring. Let me give you, let me give you a reference point. So I'm not gonna say the brand, but there's a tube of ground turkey that I like because it's it's a tube. It's large. It's also really delicious, and I've been buying it for over ten years. It's this big, and uh, it's fresh, and it would normally price at about I don't know seven or eight. Over the last year and a half, it was twenty two dollars or something. If they, if at all they had it. And most of the time they didn't have it because they didn't want you to get something in bulk like that. I know Costco is Costco's expensive as well, but they shrunk it, you know, a quarter of the size. So about a week ago, I realized that the price inflation is really gone, but gone more than I thought it was gone. So that pack of of, of ground turkey was back to almost 2019 prices. How much was it? It was well. Again, during the last year and a half, they shrunk it to this small, $22. Last week, it was back to its original size, and it was $9. I was just, it was a sigh of a relief. Yesterday, I went in there, and it was discounted to $6. It just feels so wonderful to be back to normal, doesn't it? It just feels really, uh, COVID was one thing, but that, that price inflation for the groceries was just horrible. And I gotta look, I gotta tell you, that was not the only, everything was bad. I mean, peanut butter, I, I buy the, the, the real peanut butter. The real peanut butter had gone all as, as high as $5 if you could even get it. Um, it was $1.94 yesterday. I was like, really? Now, there was a shortage of Kleenex uh, on, on Amazon last night, but <laughs> that I am just happy, giddy as a cat, that price inflation is gone in, in groceries. Oh, you can see it in my face. I'm eating better. <laughs> Coming up next is Home Edition at 11 a.m. We have a great show. Share your comments of where you see prices coming down dramatically in your groceries, and I'll feature them on air. Send them to me on, on a private message across social media. And for the short set of Hockey California, have a beautiful morning if you're watching me live when this show airs. Coming up next is the 11 o'clock edition of Home LA. Three live shows, three channels. Let's go over them right again, one at a time. On Channel 1 is LA Live, currently airing right now. All your breaking news of the financial markets and stimulus. On channel two is Stimulus Live, airing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And on channel three is Crypto Wall Street Live. A brand new show of Crypto Wall Street Live starts every night at four o'clock on channel three. A brand new show of LA Live starts every night on channel one at five o'clock. And then on channel two, a brand new show of Stimulus Live starts every night at six o'clock. Become a member. You deserve all this incredible money. You deserve all this incredible information. It's an expanded membership newsletter. Become a member right now. Welcome to nearly 100 new members. Memberships through the roof. Become part of this incredible family. Now, America's number one most second most watched financial news network in America. It's LA. Have a beautiful morning.